I think the term torture porn, who cares? I think it says more about the critics than it does about the film and their complete lack of understanding or, frankly, interest in those types of movies. You know, anytime the fans see a movie described as torture porn, they instantly know this critic doesn't know what they're talking about and they don't like horror movies, so they generally not don't listen to it. No! I love all kinds of horror movies. I mean, as much as I love you know, these the very gory films. People forget that Texas Chainsaw Massacre is a goreless movie. There really is no gore in that movie. It's really just what's seen and what's implied. Jaws is a rated PG movie. Robert Wise's The Haunting has no gore in it. So I love all of those movies. Those are fantastic films. And I wanted to make a movie that would just be great, smart, scary, and keep people guessing. I'm fascinated by the subject matter of possession. And I feel that since The Exorcist, there hasn't really been another one done well, because how do you make a movie scarier than that? Well, you don't. Don't even try, but you can make something that's original and smart and different. And that's what we, that's what we want to do here. And you could see audiences in America really responded. <laughs> People know me for the Hostel movies, and I love Gorin and Piranha 3D. Uh, you know, I have a wonderful death scene that I'm very proud of. Um, but, you know, the fun of this movie is that it's truly a psychological thriller, and you're really trying to figure out if this girl is crazy or if she's possessed. And when Ashley starts to go into her altered state, you think, oh my God, either way, it's bad news. That's a good girl. That's a good girl. Right here, yeah. It's, it's 